This is Karina. She will show you how to set up your spray unit for working with paints and varnishes. Regardless of whether you are brushing or spraying, masking and covering up is essential before any painting process. First, we cover the floor with painter's fleece or cardboard. In addition, a cardboard box can be held behind the fence, or we use this masking tape with an integrated drop sheet. Of course, the extent of the masking also depends on the strength of the wind. It is best to spray when there is no wind. Never spray when there is a strong wind. For a good spray result, the paint should at least be at room temperature. Karina has already prepared and sanded the fence and removed any dust. For spraying paints and varnishes, use the wood and metal standard spray attachment. The wall symbol means it is for use with interior wall paints. The fence symbol means it is for use with paints and varnishes. Of course, you can use all commercially available paints and varnishes. In general, Flexio Universal Spray Units can spray paints straight from the can without the need for dilution. But in the case of some more viscous materials, diluting by 5 to 10% can give a better result. For the paint and varnish spray attachment, diluting by 5 to 10% is generally recommended. Now she will dilute the paint with 10% water. The stirring stick in the packaging has notches, each indicating 10% dilution. Then stir well, and of course always ensure that there are no lumps in the paint. The paint now flows much faster from the stick. As you can see, after dilution, the area of paint on the right is significantly larger than that on the left. When adjusting the riser pipe, you must observe the following. Backwards for working overhead. Forwards if you're working downwards. When spraying walls, forward orientation is recommended, so that even if the paint is running out, it can be sprayed as long as possible before refilling is necessary. Now attach the paint container, and the spray attachment is attached to the turbine with just a click. As you know, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So when you start, simply take the test poster from the packaging To reduce the spray mist, the airflow is adjustable on Flexio devices. For more fluid materials, choose a low level. For this device, that will be from the minimum up to level 6. For high viscosity materials such as wool paint, choose a level between 6 and the maximum. Karina will now increase the airflow while spraying, in order to show how the spray pattern changes. The amount of material can also be individually adjusted in order to achieve the optimum spraying experience. The right amount of material depends on the surface, the speed of working, and the viscosity or fluidity of the material. Start with a lower quantity of material and increase it as you become more experienced. To do this, turn the wheel so that it screws in further. At the top, Karina has sprayed with a lower amount of material, and underneath, with the maximum amount. When spraying, there are a few things you should observe. Maintain a distance of 5 to 10 centimeters and always hold the device perpendicular to the object. Do not confuse the spray unit with a brush and use it in a brushing motion. Take care to do smooth movements. In addition, you will notice that the closer you are to the object, the narrower the spray jet will become. This will avoid thicker layers of paint when changing direction. The spray attachment has a three-way adjustable paint jet. The arrows always indicate the spray direction. For vertical slats, the nozzle is adjusted so that the arrows are vertical. For horizontal slats, the arrows should also be horizontal. Detailed spraying is also possible by using the diagonal setting. Use this spray jet for small areas and detail work. 
If you feel that not enough paint is being emitted, turn the wheel to increase the material setting to a higher level. Even if you realize afterwards that you have applied too little paint, no problem. Unlike brush application, we do not need to wait until the paint is dry. You can simply spray again whilst the paint is still wet. If there is too much spray mist, there are three possible reasons. 1. The distance from the object was too much, so simply reduce the distance. 2. The airflow is too high. This can be reduced by turning the wheel on the top of the device. 3. You have diluted the paint too much. Simply add some more paint. It is, of course, also possible to spray too much paint on one area. That's not a problem. Dab the paint with a cloth or kitchen roll and spray another thin coat. After a break, you should check whether any paint has dried on the nozzle. If you forget to do this, just like Karina, you'll have a very messy spray jet. You can scrape off any dried on paint with the yellow stick applied in the packaging or with a fingernail. After longer breaks, pressure can build up in the paint container. This can cause paint to drip from the nozzle. Here is a tip. Rotate the container slightly after any interruption of work. This will release the pressure and return the paint volume to normal. If you have any questions or ideas, then please contact us.